Hello, um, Lindsay Garrison. I've been meaning to do a video, so I figured I'd do it really quick um, while I can. Um, so today is Saturday. I had my surgery Monday night, so it's, well, I would like to say that I didn't get done until 12.30 a.m. So I do always like to point that out. It's actually Tuesday morning. So uh, Tuesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So today is day five. Um, today was a crappy day. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, so I went to work yesterday after my doctor's appointment. They did not uh, take out the drains. I don't know what I was thinking. I paid no attention to them when they said when or what the timeline is of anything. Uh, so please give me a break if you watch earlier videos and I'm like, what the hell is she talking about? Um, so, um, what they did do, uh, was, uh, they re, uh, basically bandaged me up. You see any mess? It's probably mine. Uh, so they re-bandaged me up. So they gave me a new compression garment. Wah! Uh, which you cannot see because it's a new compression garment. So, uh, say goodbye to the old stuff. Um, this one's black and more form fitting. Like the last one was like basically Velcro bandage. If I'm smart, I'll figure out how to edit me washing my hands off. Um, so. That was yesterday, and then afterwards I did go to work for um, about three hours. Nothing too crazy, just client emails, and it was a training. Um, so I did get home yesterday and realized that I'd kind of text myself. Now, today. So, as you see, I'm sitting here at 6 o'clock at night cutting up vegetables. I seem fine. But as you heard me say... I had a crappy day. Um, so constipation is nothing to mess with. I um, was uh, taking laxatives, uh, but I was just taking like a small amount just to kind of keep things uh, going. I wasn't really too concerned about it and uh, got the best of me today. Uh, I was in a lot of pain this morning and then it just got progressively worse. So I ran to Rite Aid or Walmart which was not the smartest move either because I took dirt roads uh, and got what I called a uh, constipation survival kit. I got some prunes, some uh, milk and magnesia, and some smooth moves tea. Now, what I was very concerned about is, and mind you, I took the proper dose of laxatives prior to that, knowing that I was going through all this. So my big concern was, is that once everything gets loosened up, I was gonna have a mess on my hands. Uh, and that's pretty much what happened. So, but it took all day and it was a lot of bathroom time and my poor boyfriend, uh, which we never talk about those types of things, uh, had to hear a lot about my misery and I basically just kept getting up and saying all right I'm gonna go to the bathroom and nothing 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 um and the thing is is you can't really push because you have those dance stitches in your muscles keeping everything together uh so you're afraid to push and everything of that nature so with all of that said sure as hell um overcorrected uh, and then I thought the world was coming to an end. Mind you, I was very careful during my issues um, but then I kind of got the shakes uh, because I was so cold and had to get everything situated. So with all of that said, uh, after, after I got um, things more settled, um, went to the bathroom one more time and uh, 
There's nothing left. Not that you wanted to hear that, but um, I was, like I said, semi-careful with what I was doing today. I try to do like the more all natural approach because I knew how much was in my body. Um, so I did the smooth move tea. Um, I didn't do any more laxative laxatives. I did the muckle magnesia. Who knows if that helped. Um, but I was really nervous for afterwards being, uh, you know, it, I also know that I've been drinking water like crazy, so I knew that I was well hydrated, so that's another thing. But if I had to give anybody advice, as I'm dropping the sweet potatoes on the floor, it would be, one, definitely watch your uh, liquid intake to make sure you're well hydrated if you get in my position, and two... Uh, don't wait until it's too late. Again, it's now day five. I think I went to the bathroom on Monday before my surgery. I don't recall. It's not something that I pay much attention to um, on a normal basis. But I do have that hypothyroidism, so because then I'm kind of constipated all the time. Or every couple of days. So I wasn't that concerned about it. But um, that was the worst thing that I've experienced so far. And the worst part is, is when you're going through all this pain and whatever, you know you caused it on yourself. Um, so I feel really bad people taking care of me, but like, um, my boyfriend's like, if you need anything, you know, call me, let me know. Cause he was just out in the garage and I to text him to come in and I was like, can you just give me water and another blanket? Um, I just, I, once I got down, I just couldn't get back up from, cause I, like I said, I kept walking to the bathroom today I got my steps in. Um, so he did, uh, and then he made me, he was like, when's the last time you ate? And I was like, fuck, shoot, uh, just because I had been so busy. So, um, he did make me an egg and made me eat a banana. Uh, I took a painkiller and laid down on the couch for 45 minutes and I got up and started making dinner and I was absolutely fine. So, um, again. I hope that constipation is the worst part of this, but it's annoying just because they warn you about it over and over again and I wasn't paying attention and I was like, because I, I knew I was taking laxatives, but I was just taking a small amount. And so just keep that in mind that, you know, you're taking painkillers, you're, you know, what else are you eating? Are you eating veggies? Are you eating fruits? And I generally eat those types of things, but I've been so focused on making sure that I had things that sustain me because of the other issues. Um, that I guess I didn't watch it close enough so I will be on it for the rest of the time but uh, I don't know how much longer I'll have to worry about it because again I'm all cleaned out uh, but I could definitely feel the burning and the stitches like ripping. and it was the untrying muscles like I wasn't trying to push and my muscles were saying no either. so it was involuntary so anyways yesterday at the doctor they basically just changed out the dressings it wasn't that exciting, um, nothing fun. I have to go back on Monday, and she said that she's gonna take everything off and give me the stitches, or give me, put tape over the stitches so that way I can take a shower. Cause I still can't take a shower. But, you know, I'm cleaning everything up even more so now. Um, so that is all.